to Toronto. So much iconic hockey history here. Wrong it always point. feels like a big event on game day. Well, and tonight is start, no yeah. <clears throat> The officials there at center and I think they're about <clears throat> to get this one underway. The Coyotes will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Sets the feet in front. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Riley's moving the puck through his own zone. Arizona's got possession at center. Return pass. Shot. Oh, stops him with a goal. Great reflexes there. Slides it on over to Riley. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it over to Matthews. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Cuts into the paint. Taken by Keller. Schmaltz takes it into the offensive end. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. The Leafs have it from the corner. Toronto's playing it from the side. Oh, the puck check. What a read by the goaltender. And he takes the feed. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Too many bodies in the way. Nylander's got control of it now behind the cage. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the shot. Can't get it to go. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. I didn't nobody get that. <clears throat> Arizona's got the puck. Take it along the wall by Valamaki. Toronto's got it now. Hammers a shot. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Oh. The delayed penalty that make it count. Uh, they do make it count, James. Now it will negate their power play opportunity, but hey, when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. Carcone. The goaltender, he's gonna want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the Carcone. Blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a <clears throat> chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Arizona's won the face off at center. Oh. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Carcone. Arizona's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. Oh. Moves it to Hayden. Pumps <coughs> the boards through the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Gets in front of it. Puck grabbed by Reeves. Wall's been consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. His save percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. <laughs> There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Okay, okay. Gotta raise the game, bro. Period <clears throat> two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Charlie, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Leafs are trailing in this game because they had a sloppy opening frame, James. The coach won't like it. You have to manage the puck and make good decisions if you want to be rewarded. Marner's got it in the offensive zone. Trying to make something happen from behind the net. Toronto sliding the puck behind the net. Centering pass! And that's stopped! And he elects to play the puck. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed... 
executed hip check there. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Marner. Bumped off the puck. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Carries it in. And that's poked away by Brody. The Leafs have it now. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Puck scooped up by Nylander. Big hit and that frees up possession. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck picked up by Nylander. Oh. oh, so close, but an even better defensive stop. Well, I love the attempt here at the Michigan, but when you're below the goal line, there's two things you have to be aware of. How much time and how much space you have. And you have to score. Shut up. Zucker, Zucker, Zucker. James, I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Carcone. Now a quick pass to Boyd. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. <laughs> and that pass attempt is deflected. Quick pass to Boyd. He grabs the puck here at the point. Lays out with the block. Now can he get up? Oh, picked up along the wall by Lilgren. They've got numbers here. Chase it from Bing Bong. <clears throat> Tricky Nicky. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Leafs needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. With possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Lilgren. Toronto's got the puck in the corner. Sends a pass over. Toronto's on the attack. Quick pass across to Robertson. Drives to the paint. Quick shot. Denies him in front. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Oh, touch right over the boards. Well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's fence. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out back to your side. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Oh. <clears throat> Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Toronto's got it behind the net. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Stetcher. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Michelli's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up what? here. Well, we go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance <clears throat> for the coaches to uh -oh. push their messages home. Vanishing act. We'll oh. see the third period coming up. In just a matter of moments. I haven't won a face off yet. The Coyotes yep. get their man advantage unit out there for the Five first nothing. time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck to Yarncroft. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. The Leafs played along the boards. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Look at this! Here's a pass! Great save on the play! Oh, my goodness! Here's a short pass to Schmaltz. And he had the answer on that one. Riley's got it in the defensive end. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Here's a shot! Special teams, it's a power play tally. Well, 
can't change shit, but... <clears throat> Lagna. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Big time hit check there. That's how you finish a play. From the neutral zone now. Bertuzzi's taking it from his own end. Handles the puck. Deflected away. A nice defensive use of the stick there. The Coyotes pick up steam and are on the attack. Takes the feed from the goaltender. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Klingberg's looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. Receives the pass. Long okay. reach breaks up the momentum. Forces the turnover. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Krause works the puck in his own zone. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. A chance! And he gets in front of it to block it. Bertuzzi's carrying it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Nylander. Moves inside! The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Zucker is going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Bertuzzi's got it in the corner. Toronto's got it along the wall. Works it across oh, the you board. donkey. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Boyd. Arizona's been working hard all night, James. Oh. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to <clears> find <throat> ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Leafs play it along the Shoot it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Pavelka. Down the right side and into the zone. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Yoink. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Comes up with a stop. Oh, of course. Toronto's got it from behind the net. Oh, you pig. Makes it look easy with the stop. This is a dialed in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low Oh, God. Fat. Taken by Riley. Pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. How's that not a pillow? Baloney. Klingberg's finding a way to move himself back to the bench here and finish his shift, but man, it's been a tough one. He got injured somewhere in the midst of it, showing a lot of hard passion here as he's committed to staying on the ice for his team. Matthews won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. And that's turned aside by Vamilka. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. Okay, Cheryl, Lousy. this game was an essay. Give me your concluding thesis. Oh, well, I don't know about that one. The last page of the book Bruce? would say that, <laughs> listen, James, the shooting percentage is off the charts. I mean, they had good quality chances, yeah. and they were able to capitalize. Otherwise, they weren't in this game. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing. Dumber. Oh. I feel like we should have won that game. Look at the zone time. Ridiculous. I don't want to face off, I guess. Brutal. Hmm. Next game. There's always next game. Until there isn't.